Thank you, Nick. The NCAA is in the middle of a lawsuit right now that could change the lives of student athletes and the NCAA as we know it. That's right, AJ. And our Marlena Lang has more details on the lawsuit and what could happen based on the ruling. The lawsuit began when one Villanova University student athlete sued the NCAA and his school, stating that the amateur athlete description does not fit him and what he does for the school, arguing that he's an employee and should be paid minimum wage. Now several schools and athletes have joined the suit, looking to change the NCAA forever. Fundamentally, he is challenging the amateur athlete model that has been part of the NCAA since 1906. Two similar lawsuits have been filed against the NCAA, but in 2021, the Supreme Court ruled in a case that casted serious doubt on the NCAA's amateur athlete model. Professor Leroy submitted a brief to the federal courts using the Federal Labor Standards Act and the NCAA rulebook to show that college athletes do qualify as employees. So I'm just using the rulebook to make the argument that on its face, the rule book for the NCAA is describing an employment relationship. And many agree with Leroy. Yeah, I definitely think student athletes should be paid. Um, like as an athlete myself, I know like how much value kind of like one person can bring to a school or like a community. So I think like when you provide value for a community or, or for an, like an educational like institute that that you should be paid like at least a part of that portion. An argument used by those against student athletes being paid including by the NCAA is that many student athletes receive athletic scholarships though Leroy says that is a common misconception. Many are not getting scholarships it should be pointed out and even those that are getting scholarships are making the argument that they should get scholarships and pay. I mean there are students at many campuses who receive scholarships and they work around the campus and they're paid in addition to. If the courts rule in favor of the student athletes, many changes will be made to the NCAA. Though it's impossible to know exactly what changes will be made, Leroy says much more than money is at stake. It's, there are billions of dollars in the balance over the course of just a few years. Um, and if the college athletes can be employees, then they can form a union. If the courts rule in the favor of the college athletes and they do unionize, it also means they could strike if they are unhappy in the future. Though Leroy says we are still years away from an official verdict. Reporting in studio, I'm Marlena Lang. Thank you, Marlena. Right now, the case is being heard by the Third Circuit Federal Appeals Court. If they rule in favor of the student athletes, then it will be brought down to a trial court to figure out details. If they rule in favor of the NCAA, then the case will be dismissed.